I know, I know, I know. It's the question that everyone has been wondering about. These are the videos that you guys live for. Uh, do I like Jose Mourinho? Am I Jose Mourinho in? Am I Jose Mourinho out? Who is Jose Mourinho? And why am I also talking about Valorant? Before we start, let me know any criticisms, any critiques, anything you think I should add to these kinds of videos. Uh, just let me know because this is the first time I've done this. I don't know if it's going to be good. It's probably going to be bad. But uh, it's like a mini podcast of my thoughts, what I do on the weekend. I don't want to do FIFA at the moment because everything costs 15 million coins and I have $5. As you may or may not know, I am a Tottenham Hotspur fan, which is funny. Yes, you can laugh at me. Ha ha ha. spurs -y. And so when they appointed Jose Mourinho after sacking Mauricio Pochettino, the only good manager they've had in the history of ever, sorry, uh, Harry Redknapp, uh, I was a little bit sad. So with the two-all draw against Newcastle and the goal differential being, it was something crazy, like expected goals for Newcastle. Keep in mind, it's Newcastle. Everyone hates Steve Bruce. Every Newcastle fan in the world despises Steve Bruce. Expected goals in the game was something like four for Newcastle. And the expected goals for Spurs is something like two. There's so many things to just talk about that I'm probably going to get sidetracked. The fact that Mourinho's supposed to be this defensive genius and then we're talking about Newcastle and it's just he has all these defensive issues. And the, the most annoying thing to me and to most Spurs fans is the fact that Mourinho will not take any blame whatsoever. So just attacking this from the perspective that Mourinho will come in with, the fact that expected goals for Newcastle four, that's not acceptable, but he'll say everyone complains that I'm a defensive minded coach, that we haven't been attacking the games, that we haven't been trying to kill them off, and then we've conceded anyway, so we thought to bring the fight to them. That, yeah, sure, that has been criticism in the past, but it's a team in Spurs that have scored the second most goals in Europe. I know it's been playing FA Cup teams like Marine, but they've scored a lot. They scored six at United. They've scored a lot of goals. And what Mourinho has said and what drove everyone crazy is in the post-match interview, he was saying, same coach, different players, just shifting the blame to the players yet again, as he did at United, as he did at Madrid with Iker Casillas. This is Iker Casillas, you know, one of the best goalkeepers, allegedly, in Spanish history. It's amazing that Mourinho can somehow just find all these bad eggs at every single team. He's somehow Gareth Bale, Deli Ali, Harry Winks, and I'm not saying these players are without fault, but all these players are terrible. They're not good enough for you. Eric Dyer, the guy you tried to sign from you when you were at United for $50 million. At United, Martial, bad. Bad person. Terrible. Uh, Pogba, terrible person. Bad. Uh, Luke Shaw, I guided him all the way down the left wing, up and down the left side of the pitch. He would be nothing without me. It's just, you can't run into so many quinky dinks. I really don't know what Mourinho wants. If you look at the back line yesterday... Sergio Reguilon, great left back, also brought in by Mourinho, so I don't know what the point is there. Rodon, Rodin, he's pretty good. I mean, he's not a starter yet, but I think he's going to end up being a pretty good player. When he left Swansea, everyone was mad because it was for, I don't know, like 14 million pounds, and all the Swansea fans thought it was low. Brought in while Mourinho was there, so I don't really know. The one person he could point blame to and who he could say he doesn't like is Davinson Sanchez. Davinson Sanchez. When he was at Ajax, when they played United in the Europa League final, supposedly Mourinho targeted him because he was a weak link. So, okay, that makes sense. But then if that's your decision on Sanchez saying he's a bad player, then start Toby Alderweireld, you know, the guy you tried to sign while you're at United. Oh, but wait, you're saying that he was he was too late to training? And then it turns out that he was in training and there are pictures and you have receipts from like Wednesday or Thursday, but you're saying he, he just got in yesterday at, on Saturday? Like the story doesn't even make sense. If you don't like Toby Alderweireld, okay, well then why did you like him before and how have you come in and he suddenly has just regressed? Right back was Jaffa Tanganga. You know, I think Jaffa Tanganga is fine. I like him as a player. He had a really bad game yesterday, in my opinion, but uh, I don't get it because if you didn't like him, then Matt Daugherty, who you signed you could have used him, but you don't like him because he's bad, because he's a wing back who you're trying to play as a right back. You had Serge Aurier who has... he like Serge Aurier, after the restart last year, was one of the best players on Spurs. He makes a ton of dumb mistakes. Look at Leicester City this year giving away the penalty at the end of the first half. All the penalties last year... I mean, he, how many did he give up? He gave up a penalty at the start of this year against United, I think? I don't know. 
I like Serge Aurier. He played after his brother died. He was a warrior. Do I think he's a great starting right back? No, he makes terrible mistakes. But you have these options. So stop blaming the players. And then just because he's there, goalkeeper, Hugo Lloris. It's clearly not Lloris because you said that you have the best goalkeeper in the Premier League. So I, the only person I think you hate is Davinson Sanchez. You can't blame Rodon. You can't blame Tanganga because in the Villa game before, you said, I like them because they show effort. You can't blame Regulon, although he is a little bit suspect defensively. Uh, I mean, the cross came in from his side. He doesn't always get back into position, doesn't always stop the cross and work well with Sonny, whatever. But everyone's fault but your own. It's madness. So the question for me is, am I Jose Mourinho in? Am I out? I don't even know. I, I'm kind of like Jose Mourinho. You can you can just chill until the end of the season. Spurs are still, I think, fifth or sixth. I don't exactly know how it's working out because West Ham is, for some reason, the best team in London. If they don't get top four, they don't get Europa European qualification, supposedly the payout is less, considerably less than 30 million pounds, which would be huge because... Daniel Levy doesn't want to pay that much, of course. Who do you bring in? Everyone's been saying Julian Nagelsmann. I think that'd be cool. I wanted Eric Ten Hag for about 17 years now from Ajax, but I don't know if that'll happen. We already took, uh, you already took Vertonghen and you took Alderweireld and Devinson Sanchez from Ajax, so you might as well take the coach. I, I just, uh, I, I can't understand how someone can be paid so much money, such a ridiculous amount of money, to just shift the blame to other people. Because if you're earning that much money, you should be in charge and you should be taking responsibility. Otherwise, what is the point of you getting that much money? If you don't affect things, just put me in charge. I'll be happy. I'll I'll play Deli Ali every day. Deli will love me. He'll name his son LT. Deli probably watches these videos. Deli, comment, like, subscribe. These videos are not intended to only be Spurs focused. So let's see what else happened yesterday. Chelsea... I, actually this was Saturday Chelsea lost 5-2 and had a red card Thiago Silva probably should have gotten sent off the first time I don't know che that was the first time that Chelsea have lost under Tuchel I think I like Thomas Tuchel a lot I liked him when he was at Dortmund it didn't quite work out for him conceding five goals to West Brom is kind of a mad thing to be honest I don't know why that happened but there shouldn't be overreaction Thomas Tuchel has done well at Chelsea they've looked like a better team since Frank Lampard left that's the first game they've lost. They beat Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. So everyone's like, hey, hey, guys. Hey, they lost. Hey, let's make a meme. I think Chelsea are fine. I, there's nothing to worry about there. Arsenal got smashed 3-0 by Liverpool, the most confusing team in the league. Uh, Man City showed that they can, will continue to win the Premier League for the next 27 years, which is cool. United won against Brighton. Uh, that's, yeah, West Ham, best team in, best team in London. They won 3-2 today. So that was pretty much it. Now, I feel like I'm just going to talk about Valorant because I do watch a lot of Valorant. Uh, that's I'm even playing Valorant in the background. I might play FIFA in the background next time and talk only about Valorant. Uh, so if you don't know what Valorant is, this might not be any interest to you. I'll just touch on it briefly because I do watch a lot of it, and I think some of you guys will be interested in this too. Um, just my thoughts on Sentinels losing against uh, BBG, Built by Gamers with Coach Poach, which is kind of funny because I used to watch Poach play Fortnite a lot, which is a weird transition for him going from Counter-Strike to Fortnite to Valorant, but good for him. So I don't want to get too much into this, but uh, TSM, hopefully, TSM, FaZe, and Sentinels all not qualifying in the first open qualifier is kind of a big sad. I, I hope to see at least, I hope to see all of them qualify at least in the next open qualifier because they're such good teams. TSM especially, I don't know why. I like Brax, I like Wardell, I like Subrosa, so we'll see. If you guys don't even care about Valorant, if no one has any clue what I'm talking about, let me know down below. I will never bring it up ever again. Okay, bye.